Hello everyone, Crow here. Today we're gonna talk about the pros and cons of this new NFT game that I've found called Rooster Battle. It is uh, super new actually uh, when it comes to the uh, development roadmap. Uh, we are still at the very start. I actually think this game is interesting, so that's why I'm gonna do a pros and cons before anyone else. And by the way, check this one out. This is the first uh, in the roadmap, but it already has a beta play uh, on its plan, so that might be a good thing. But anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's go with the pros and cons, and as usual, with the Crow YouTube channel, we always start with the pros. The first pro is the gameplay. This is a obviously a cockfighting game and uh, just a sample of what it's gonna be like. So probably older people will have a little bit of a nostalgia when it comes to this because uh, honestly, not a lot, of, especially here in the Philippines, not a lot of cockfighting happening because of COVID. But uh, some people in our community commented that uh, this would be nice to have their fathers as, his, as scholars of the game. <laughs> like my dad, he used to uh, do a lot of these uh, gambling games. So some other people will, uh, will enjoy these kinds of games, you know what I mean? So in terms of concept, uh, I think this is the very first one that's a uh, cockfighting. A lot of games that are out are, you know, monsters. Uh, fighting warriors and all that stuff. This one is different in that regard. It emulates something in real life and so I think that will be interesting. The second pro would be, I think, the stability of its tokenomics, right? So now this might be a con and I'll talk about that later on, but this game doesn't have PvE. It only has PvP. Okay, so if you check out here, so the gameplay is basically this. There's a camper and a challenger. Camper means you leave your rooster for a certain period of time. So this is perfect for those people who are working like eight to five jobs. They can just leave their other uh, cocks <laughs> uh, on the... Uh, on the battlefield and then someone will challenge them of course they cannot control the the chicken so it did say here you will mostly lose all battles but you will still earn xp for the chicken and rice for as a challenger you get to do a challenge five times okay but this one is uh, like where you really make some money of course this is a pvp although you're fighting against campers basically so the battle might be easier but they will still have some synergy in terms of the uh, the the skills so i have a good hunch that the tokenomics of this game would be at least stable because based on my experience i've been playing nft games for a while now the main killer for the game really is the pve where just anyone can grind get their token rewards for sure each day and they don't really have to upgrade because they're not really fighting real players right so if you're fighting real players if you don't upgrade what's gonna happen you might lose so uh, I think this is a good idea in terms of tokenomics and that there's a high possibility that the token rewards of this game which is you know the main problem of NFT games nowadays would be sustainable all right so that's pro number two number three is the devs right this is the team i can't really show you anything about this you just have to take my word for it but i am a part of the community of uh this game rooster battle and the dev seems to be really really nice people there have been a few issues with some of their partners i think but they are very transparent with what happened uh they notified the community right away uh, so that there's no uh, FUD that's gonna happen. So I think with that regard, the developers are really proactive in trying to communicate with the community and they don't really hide anything from us at least so far. So that gives a vote of confidence on my part to really trust uh, the game that it will be a, uh, a success. I mean, 
Of course, there will be a lot of factors for it to be successful, but in terms of rug pull, I don't think this is gonna be a rug pull. All right, so there you go. And now, the fourth pro is zero gas fees. Pretty, <laughs> pretty much a given. Uh, does not cost gas fees in uh, matches, right? So this is gonna be on mobile, so kind of like a mobile game, and then it's connected to like your MetaMask, and then you just, uh, I guess, transfer your funds from uh, from the game into uh, the MetaMask since it's connected to the D app. The D app is not yet here, but it will be uh, launched, I guess, uh, when the when the demo goes live. So there will be a test net, by the way, uh, if I've mentioned that in the beginning. But yeah, so zero gas fees. I mean, this is on BSC, so not a lot of gas fees to begin with, if ever is one. But it is a welcome addition that this game actually does not charge you for gas fees. So there you go. And now for the cons. The first con is connected to the second pro. And I really think this is a good thing. But I guess some people would see this as a... Uh, a con so I'd include that as a con for now uh, is that there is no PVE right so you really have no way to grind here where there's gonna be like very easy players to beat up you know what I mean so your dailies will not be like a hundred percent so it's not gonna be like Axie Infinity where you can fight mobs as PVE and then you can also do PvP at the same time. So this one, it's only about PvP. I personally think that that is a good thing for the good of the tokenomics, for the good of the token rewards. But to some people, uh, this might be a bad thing, especially for those who are planning to not invest a lot in uh, NFT games. I think they're the ones who's going to be mostly affected here. So for the sake of you guys, I will consider this as a con. And now the second con is more of a personal experience, something that I've noticed, uh, something of a pattern from uh, most of the games that I've played, right? Uh, and this is not to turn you off with the game or anything like that. This is just to, I guess, make you do your own research a little bit more. Uh, this game is in the BSC blockchain. Alright, so I have played a lot of games in the BSC. And most of them are kind of dead after two weeks to one month. And since this game is in the BSC blockchain, Will it have the same predicament as those other games that I've played before? I hope not. You know, uh, I think this game is kind of different in some regard. But I am just letting you know because, you know, we are not really sponsored here. And so I can speak honestly about stuff. I guess what I'm trying to say is tread lightly. When it comes to BSC games, slowly but surely is the way to go. And there you go. That is the pros and cons for Rooster Battle. My verdict, mm, I am definitely gonna try this game out. I'll wait slowly but surely, right? Uh, I'm probably gonna mint one or two NFTs only. Uh, two, because there is also breeding in this game, so I might wanna take advantage of that. But definitely not gonna be induced by FOMO. <laughs> I mean, I like the idea that it's PvP only. Really, I think PvE is kind of killing a lot of NFT games out there. Especially when the token rewards plummet and everyone just gets FUD. So with this one being just PvP, I think it has good potential for long term. So this is something to consider. Just don't be induced by FOMO. Right, so I've given you the pros and cons of Rooster Battle. Now it's up to you to make a decision. Okay. I hope you enjoyed that. By the way, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. I would highly appreciate that. Thank you for watching. Again, this is Crow, and I will see you on the next one.